हेलो एवरी वन सो वेलकम टू डॉक्टर अंकित फार्माकोलॉजी सीरीज एंड आई एम माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर अंकित सो इन दिस सेक्शन लेट्स डिस्कस सर्टन न्यू ड्रग्स फॉर कोरोना वायरस विच कॉजेस अ डिजीज दैट इज कोविड नाइन्टीन कोविड नाइन्टीन स्टैंड फॉर कोरोना कोरोना वी फॉर वायरस आई फॉर इन्फेक्शियस डी फॉर डिजीज एंड नाइनटीन सिम्बलाइज दैट इट वॉज इट वॉज अपियर्ड इन ईयर टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइनटीन so let's discuss first that how this corona virus infects a human cell okay now this corona virus is a member of a family known as sars cov2 family so this is the first point i am marking sars cov2 family sars stands for severe acute respiratory syndrome cov stands for corona virus 2 okay now how it infects a a uh, human cell as you can see in this diagram this virus has some protein spike protein okay s protein now this virus shape is looking like a crown it's a looking like a crown of a king that is why it is known as corona virus because of this spike protein the shape is like a crown hence it is known as corona virus now it affects human cell on human cell there are two receptors which are simultaneously required for the entry of corona virus into the cell into the human cell the first receptor is ace2 receptor we will write one here ace2 enzyme receptor a stands for angiotensin convertase enzyme to receptor okay a stands for angiotensin 2 convertase enzyme and second receptor we are seeing on human cell is tmp rss so tmp rss stands for transmembrane t for transmembrane protease so tm stand for transmembrane protease serine precursor 2 okay so this is the full form of tmp tmp rss now this corona virus attaches to these two receptors these two receptors are required on human cell okay these two receptors are required on human cell with the help of these two receptor it enters into the human cell and this entry is known as membrane fusion and endocytosis now when it goes inside the cell it is covered by an envelope this envelope is made up of plasma mem membrane so this plasma membrane containing a virus is known as endosome and the ph in this endosome is acidic you have to remember this point so this endosome must have acidic ph now after this this plasma membrane or the coating around the virus vanishes it disappears so this is known as uncoating of virus mm -hmm. and the single stranded rna of a virus comes outside so this sars cov virus or corona virus is a single stranded rna virus now this single stranded rna virus undergoes translation translation means synthesis of different proteins and one very important protease is required that is chymotrypsin like protease okay so chymotrypsin like protease so remember this word i am making a star you have to remember this word you have to remember this word endosome you have to remember the words s protein and these two receptor ace2 receptor and tmp rss2 receptor why because we have drug against them now when it undergoes into translation it forms different proteins some proteins are non structural proteins no need to remember but what you have to remember it forms a protein known as rna dependent rna polymerase so you have to remember this word rna dependent rna polymerase the function of rna dependent rna polymerase is is to form single stranded rna into multiple copies of another single stranded rna okay so this is by this enzyme it forms multiple copies of single stranded rna but it forms multiple copies of single stranded rna after entering into the nucleus and to enter into the nucleus it requires one channel known as important channel so you have to remember this word important channel because we have a drug which will block this important channel we will discuss that drug will be ivermectin okay now when multiple copies of this single stranded rna comes outside it are formed they come out of a nucleus 
and coming out of the nucleus with non-structural protein this virus will be assembled together and it will form a complete virus SARS-CoV virus and this SARS-CoV virus goes out of a cell known as exocytosis so earlier it was endocytosis now it is going out of a cell it is known as exocytosis and due to this multiple virus these antigens are identified our by our immunity like macrophages and macrophages releases various cytokines like interleukin 6, TNF alpha, tumor necrosis factor alpha, VEGF. And due to this host cell, excessive host cell immunity, our surrounding tissues or organs will also get damaged. Hence, this SARS CoV may cause mortality, and the major cause of mortality is lung failure or pulmonary failure, which will lead to ARDS. ARDS is acute respiratory distress syndrome. So if you have understood this whole cycle, I am repeating this cycle in just one minute. SARS-CoV virus, it has which protein? S protein. Which receptor on human cell is required? ACE2 or TMPRSS2. Okay. It forms endosome with acidic pH. Then there is encoding of virus and translation by some by protease enzyme. Translation occurs by some protease enzyme. RNA dependent RNA polymerase is formed which enters into the nucleus through important channel multiple copies will be produced virus will get assembled it comes outside and our immunity will try to kill this virus but this immunity will also kill surrounding cells which will lead to organ damage so if you have understood this cycle now let's discuss certain drugs which are under trials for coronavirus but remember none of the drug has been approved by us fda fda has not approved till now any drug for COVID-19. So let's make this diagram again. So if you remember the first part, first part is the entry of virus. First part is the entry of virus. So let's inhibit this entry of virus. Okay. So the first drug, we have to remember three drugs in, in this hydroxychloroquine, nefamostat and umifenovir. Nefamostat is also a similar, it is also known as Camostat and Umifinor brand name is Arbidol. Now hydroxychloroquine inhibit the entry of virus into the cell. It acts on both ACE2 receptor and TMP RSS2 receptor. How? We will discuss shortly. Nefamostat also blocks TMP RSS2 receptor and Umifinor inhibits the interaction between S protein and TMP RSS2 receptor. Okay, so these are the three drugs and we will discuss these drugs in detail shortly. Now when this virus has entered into the cell, we know it forms endosome and endosome has which pH? Acidic pH. Again, we will write hydroxychloroquine second time. Hydroxychloroquine rather increases the pH of endosome. It rather makes it alkaline. Hence, endocytosis will not happen okay so second mechanism after this this uh, virus we know this virus it will produce this virus will have will undergo translation by some protease so we will have one drug that is protease inhibitor so that protease inhibitor are hiv drugs you can write like lopinavir darunavir and ritonavir so these are protease inhibitor okay so these drugs are protease inhibitor easy so these drugs are protease inhibitors so let's just wait for a moment these drugs are protease inhibitor lopinavir darunavir and ritonavir okay now now let's move ahead now when this rna dependent rna polymerase is formed this RNA dependent RNA polymerase, we know it enters into the nucleus by important channel. Now, before it can enter into important channel, we will discuss certain drugs which will directly inhibit RNA dependent RNA polymerase. Okay. And these drugs are generally fake or analogs of purines and pyrimidines like remdesivir, a very important drug for you. It has been approved in India. Galidesivir, these are fake adenosine. Ribavirin fake guanosine favipiravir the first drug approved in china we will discuss that drug it, di it directly inhibits rna polymerase merimi podip it depletes or inhibit the synthesis of guanosine 
hydroxy cytidine cytidine dean word is coming so it's a fake cytidine analog now this rna polymerase we know fifth target it enters into the nucleus with important channel and the drug is ivermectin okay now when this virus comes outside we know that our immunity act against this virus and our organ gets damaged so we give immunomodulators when the patient is symptomatic for coronavirus and the organs are getting damages damage like ARDS so we will reduce the immunity by immunomodulators like corticosteroids hydroxychloroquine again third time we are writing tocilizumab and sarilumab which will inhibit interleukin 6 bevacizumab which will inhibit VEGF so these are monoclonal antibody because they are ending with the word MAP and we can also do plasma exchange and we can directly remove these cytokines from the plasma okay and these are the certain miscellaneous drugs which have a very complex mechanism of action need not to remember just write for the reference only probably some of them will be approved they are under the trial various anthelminthic drugs like niclosamide, emetine, ivermectin we have already discussed Plitidepsin inhibit elongation factor required for uh, replication of RNA. Bemcentinib inhibit AXL kinase inhibitor and Rintato Limode inhibit toll like receptor, which is present generally on our WBCs. Okay. Now, let's discuss certain individual drugs which are important. We need not to discuss all the drugs. We just have to discuss very few drugs among this whole list. Okay. So the first drug, let's start with entry inhibitors. See this entry inhibitors and in entry inhibitors, we have written three drugs. If you remember hydroxychloroquine, nephamostat and omifenovir. So let's discuss with entry inhibitors. Let's start with first entry inhibitors. Okay. So the first drug is hydroxychloroquine and this is the drug you have to look for. And it is very important that you must remember about everything about the role of hydroxychloroquine in coronavirus infection. So this is the most important point you have to remember. Now what is hydroxychloroquine? It is a longer acting congener of chloroquine. So this is the first point. It's a longer acting congener of chloroquine. Okay. Now what is the mechanism of action? It has three mechanism of action. It inhibits entry. It inhibits endocytosis by, by formation of endosome. And it also have immunomodulatory effects. Now let's see how, how it inhibits entry of the virus into the cell. It inhibits glycosylation of ACE2 receptor. If you remember ACE2 receptor was present on human cell. So it inhibits glycosylation of ACE2 receptor and it inhibits proteolysis of spike protein present on coronavirus. Okay. So by these two mechanism, it inhibits entry. It inhibits endosome formation. Why? Because endosome was as if having acidic pH. It rather makes the pH alkaline. Okay. And lastly, it has immunomodulatory effect because it decreases the production of cytokines like interleukin 6, TNF alpha, etc. Now, this hydroxychloroquine was the first approved drug worldwide for COVID 19. Okay. First drug. And in India also. But recent data by World Health Organization or WHO shows that it lacks effectiveness. Okay. So it's very unclear that is it a very effective drug in coronavirus? Still we don't know. Now what is the dose? The dose is, uh, is in between a range of 400 to 800 milligram on the first day. On the first day we give twice a day as a loading dose. And after that followed by this, the same dose is given once a week. And it is given orally. Now, what are the other uses of hydroxychloroquine or chloroquine? Because of this uh, immunomodulatory effect, chloroquine is used in various autoimmune disease or hypersensitivity, which are known as when the immunity is acting excessively, it is used in hyperimmune disease like DLE, okay, drug induced SLE, rheumatoid arthritis, infectious mononucleosis, and skin eruption due to photosensitivity, photomorphic light eruption. Chloroquine is also a protozoal drug. We all know it is used in malaria, but apart from malaria, it is also used in giardiasis and hepatic amoebiasis. Okay. Now let's talk about certain uh, uh, properties of uh, hydroxychloroquine. It has highest volume of distribution among all known drugs around 15,000 liters. It means it deposits in various organs. Okay. And as it deposits in various organs, it produces toxicity in all organs. 
But notable side effect you have to remember is that in eye it causes a retinal damage known as bullseye retinopathy. Now what is which will lead to blindness? Now what is bullseye retinopathy? If you see retina from the front, this is retina, you are doing fundoscopy and in between we have this macula where images form. This uh, chloroquine deposits on retina just like concentric ring. This is deposition of chloroquine on retina. Now it is looking like a shooting board. That shooting board is known as bullseye. Hence it causes bullseye retinopathy. It leads to permanent blindness. It's a very dangerous effect. It also leads to deposition on cornea and lens, which will lead to blindness. On heart, a very peculiar side effect you have to remember it causes QT prolongation, QT interval prolongation, which increases the excitability of heart and it will lead to fatal ventricular fibrillation like torsadis de pointis. It increases the risk of torsadis de pointis. Hence, this chloroquine should be avoided with other drugs which also lead to torsadis de pointis or QT prolongation. A very notable example you have to remember is azithromycin. Because some countries said that you use this hydroxychloroquine with azithromycin. But the problem when you, we are using with azithromycin, it will lead to dangerous ventricular fibrillation and people may die suddenly. Okay, so now the use is generally uh, avoided. We generally say that don't use it. Now the next drug if you talk. So now the next drug is Nefemoschat or Camoschat. Now Nefemoschat or Camoschat is a serine protease inhibitor. Okay, so it's a protease inhibitor. And remember that uh, this uh, TMP RSS2, I have already told you that it's a kind of protease enzyme. So it's a kind of protease here P word stands for protease and it is a protease inhibitor. Now this drug has been uh, recently been introduced in India and it has entered into phase two trial in India by a very famous company Sun Pharma. But earlier this drug was approved for pancreatitis in Japan, dengue hemorrhagic fever and during hemodialysis it is given to prevent clotting of blood because it inhibits fibrin formation. We know that fibrin is produced from fibrinogen. So fibrinogen forms fibrin and fibrin blocks a blood vessel. To convert fibrinogen into fibrin, we require a protease enzyme. And we know, and we know that uh, this nephemostat is a protease inhibitor. So the problem is if the fibrin is not produced, it will lead to bleeding because the function of fibrin is to stop bleeding. And this drug is given intravenously. Okay. Now the next drug is Umifinovir, the brand name is Arbidol. Now this drug inhibits the fusion of viral spike protein with the human TMP RSS2 receptor. It is under clinical trial for COVID-19. It has been approved in China and Russia and it's a very famous drug for uh, influenza virus, seasonal influenza virus, but in India and America, no role has been found. Okay. So it is under trial for COVID-19. Now let's come to the drugs which are RNA polymerase inhibitor. Now we know that in coronavirus, a single stranded RNA gets converted into another single stranded RNA, multiple copies. The function to convert one single stranded RNA into another single stranded RNA is the function of RNA polymerase. Now can we call this RNA polymerase as RNA dependent RNA polymerase? because it is acting on single stranded RNA and it is producing single stranded RNA multiple copies. We know that in our humans DNA is converted into RNA. So we humans have DNA dependent RNA polymerase, but this virus has RNA dependent RNA polymerase. Okay. So this RNA will require various purines and pyrimidines like adenosine, guanine for the production of other copies of RNA. So we have made certain drugs which are RNA polymerase inhibitor. A very important drug you have to remember is Remdesivir. It's an important drug because recently this Remdesivir has been approved in India. Now this Remdesivir and a similar drug Galidesivir approved in Russia. It is a fake adenosine analog. Okay, so its structure is just like an adenosine. So this RNA polymerase will not able to distinguish between a normal adenosine and Remdesivir. So a defective RNA will be produced. So it's a kind of a competitive inhibitor of RNA polymerase. 
okay so there will be defective rna synthesis by rna polymerase these drugs are given iv they are cyp inhibitor they increase decrease the metabolism of other drug and the important point is they are pro drugs their side effect is they are very dangerous drug nephrotoxic hepatotoxic and bone marrow suppression now the next drug is ribavirin a very old drug and a famous drug for various rna virus so this drug is under trial for covid 19 now this rem ribavirin is a fake guanine analog okay it has so again it will inhibit rna polymerase because rna polymerase will not able to distinguish between normal guanine and this fake guanine now this ribavirin has earlier been approved for hepatitis c virus it was given orally respiratory syncytial virus pneumonia it was given inhalationally and various hemorrhagic fevers like lassa fever zika virus ebola virus it has been tried now the side effect is hemolytic anemia hepatotoxic and teratogenicity need not to remember the side effects now favipiravir it directly binds to rna polymerase and inhibits the action okay and it was the first drug approved for covid-19 in china and worldwide okay and it recently been approved for influenza in china as well favipiravir but it is only approved in china hydroxycytidine fake cytidine analog merimo uh, meri mepodib it inhibit guanine synthesis by inhibiting impd enzyme impd stands for inosine monophosphate dehydrogenase enzyme which is a de novo which is required for synthesis of guanine inside the cell okay so just remember the names more than enough now a drug which inhibit the entry of single stranded rna into the nucleus if you remember this single stranded rna enters into the nucleus agree to enter into the nucleus it requires important channel so let's inhibit this important channel by a drug similar drug i for important i for ivermectin okay so it inhibits the entry of rna polymerase into the nucleus now this ivermectin is also a very famous anti helminthic drug for worm infestation as an anti helminthic drug it has different mechanism of action it inhibits open some glutamate chloride channel which will lead to flaccid paralysis of helminthic and helminthic they die it's a drug of choice for strongly loid oncocerca oncocerca causes river blindness cutaneous larva migraine lymphatic filariasis and it is the only oral drug we have for scabies infection as well so it has multiple uses okay let's talk about certain immunomodulators which reduces the immunity because when immunity will act it will kill the virus but it will also kill the normal body cells like pneumonia will happen like ARDS will happen so these drugs are only given for symptomatic patient who are having some evidence of organ damage they are never given for prophylaxis okay now if you talk about if you talk about for the first drug is corticosteroid the corticosteroid they are indicated in severe ARDS acute respiratory distress syndrome or if there is septic shock because uh, because that corona virus may lead to secondary opportunistic infection as well so it may lead to septic shock tocilizumab and sarilumab tocilizumab and sarilumab now these drugs uh, sorry let's make it sari s a r i l u m a b sari lumab so i'll write it again sari lumab now these drugs are ending with the word mab here mab word stands for monoclonal antibody and these two monoclonal antibody blocks in interleukin 6 which you have to remember so these are drugs which are given only if the patient is having some evidence of organ damage like ARDS acute respiratory distress syndrome but earlier these two drugs have been also approved for various indication as this inter interleukin 6 is a type of cytokine so this tocilizumab is also been approved for cytokine release syndrome to block this cytokine rheumatoid arthritis and we know that cytokine causes inflammation so various inflammatory disease like arthritis and kesselman disease they have been approved sarilumab this question has also been asked it has recently been approved for rheumatoid arthritis mm -hmm. now these drugs are only given in cases of covid-19 patient if they are symptomatic 
बट द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर इज नो नन ऑफ द अब ड्रग वॉट वी हैव लर्न टिल नाउ हैज बीन अप्रूव बाय अमेरिकन एफ डी ए फूड एंड ड्रग एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सो नो ड्रग टिल नाउ हैज बीन ऑफिशियली अप्रूव्ड बाय यू एस एफ डी ए सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस पार्ट सो वी आर स्टिल सीकिंग वी आर स्टिल एक्सप्लोरिंग द ट्रीटमेंट ऑप्शन फॉर कोविड नाइनटीन सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर अबाउट कोविड नाइनटीन सो थैंक यू वेरी मच कीप लर्निंग बेस्ट विशेष